if you want to know the best thriller movies, you should definitely watch our picks for the best ones of the 1970s. The most powerful handgun in the world and would blow your head clean off. You've got to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. Deliverance. Boy, you are lost, ain't you? Well, hell, I, I guess this river comes out somewhere, don't it? That's where we're going. Somewhere. Deliverance is a 1972 thriller film directed by John Borman and stars John Voight, Burt Reynolds, Ned Beatty, and Ronnie Cox. When a group of burned-out men decide to leave their homes, jobs, and wives for a chill weekend, they go on a nature trip in rural Georgia. But the locals are far from welcoming them, and the trip soon evolves into a fight for survival when madmen are on their track to hunt them down in savage brutality. You ain't never gonna get down to end. Well, why not? No. This river don't go to entry. Number 9. Dirty Harry. So if I need a partner, I'll get me someone who knows what the hell he's doing. It's better with Frank DiGiorgio. No way. Dirty Harry is a 1971 neo-noir action thriller film directed by Don Siegel and stars Clint Eastwood, Andy Robinson, Harry Gardino, and Rennie Santoni. Delivering an ounce of solid action while never losing its message, Dirty Harry is the story of Cop Harry, who does anything necessary to track down a psychopathic killer before a kidnapped girl dies. But when abusing the murderer's civil rights, he is put back on the streets. Now Harry has one last chance to track him down before a bus filled with kids goes to hell. Why do they call you Dirty Harry? Well, that's one thing about our Harry. Doesn't play any favorites. Harry hates everybody. Limeys, Nicks, Heebs, Fat Dagos, Niggers, Honkies, Chinks, you name it. Number 8. The French Connection. All right, Popeye's here. Get your hands on your heads. Get off the bar and get on the wall. Come on, move. Move. The French Connection is a 1971 action thriller film directed by William Friedkin and stars Gene Hackman, Roy Scheider, and Fernando Rey. Two police officers, Jimmy Popeye Doyle and Buddy Cloudy Russo, run into a pursuit to uncover the source of heroin being smuggled into the United States from Europe. What happens when it turns out to be a French Connection and the person behind it is a sophisticated gentleman named Alain Charnier? The game of chase begins as there are no rules and no holds barred when Popeye cuts loose. Now Westbury, my ass. I got him on the shuttle at Grand Central. Now what the hell's going on up there? I make him come out of the hotel. He was free as a bird. He went a solo wake. What the hell are you talking about? Number seven. The Day of the Jackal. You may be waiting. Waiting for what? I don't know. But I don't think we can assume that he's given up. The Day of the Jackal is a 1973 political thriller film directed by Fred Zinnemann and stars Edward Fox and Michael Lonsdale. As one of the most thrilling crime stories before the 21st century comes a story of assassins, corruption, and a police hunt that will end explosively. When an underground terroristic group hires an infamous hitman to eliminate a political figure, a ruthless police detective begins to unlock the mystery behind the killer's identity, who is now murdering across the country. Could that mean that he's changed his mind? Ah, that's obviously weird. scared him off. Ah, yeah. It's impossible he just decided to give up. He has only one chance to escape if he tries to get back across the border very fast. No, I think he's still in France. Number six. The conversation. I wish that you'd feel that you could talk to me and, and that we could be friends. I mean, aside from all of this junk. The Conversation is a 1974 mystery thriller film written and directed by Francis Ford Coppola and stars Gene Hackman, Alan Garfield, Cindy Williams, Harrison Ford, and Robert Duvall. Representing director Coppola at his finest, The Conversation follows surveillance expert Harry, who is given a mysterious case in which he is ordered to follow a young and unknown couple through the streets of San Francisco. As a dangerous obsession with the couple awakens, he might unlock a secret that someone wanted to bury for a long time. Even though I may have loved you, would you... Would you... Would you, would you go back to him? Number 5. Sleuth. How did you know I wasn't having you watched? Why not? 
Afraid of what you might find out? Or didn't you think that was possible? Sleuth is a 1972 mystery thriller film directed by Joseph L. Mankiewicz and stars Laurence Olivier and Michael Caine. This story of male egoism and macho conflicts follows two men who get into a fight that is soon defined by stakes that grow increasingly more dangerous. We follow a burned-out detective novel author whose wife cheats on him with another man. Now a fierce game is set in motion that can't have a good end. Silvery laugh, coquettish turn of the head. Something like that. Well, it is to solve this little problem that I've invited you round here tonight. And this, as they say, is where the plot thickens. What plot? Number four. Dog Day Afternoon. The most you're going to get is five years. You get out in one year, huh? Kiss me, man. What? Kiss me. When I'm being fucked, I like to get kissed hey, a come lot. Come on, come on, come on. To gather money for his girlfriend's operation, Sonny Wartsick and his friends unsuccessfully try to rob a bank. When they realize that they are surrounded by police and that there is not enough cash to steal, they demand safe passage to the airport in exchange for the safety of the employees. Sidney Lumet mesmerizes the audience with his witty plot and incredible direction. The crime drama film stars Al Pacino and John Cazale in lead roles. I'm not laying it on you, but you, you knew what was going on, right? What are you talking about laying it on you? You knew what was happening, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, don't, uh, I didn't have who's a on choice. The, I wanna, I, who's on the phone now? Moretti, Moretti, is that you on the phone? Hello? Number three. Jaws. Slow ahead. I can go slow ahead. Come on down and chump some of this shit. Jaws is a 1975 thriller film directed by Steven Spielberg and stars Roy Scheider, Robert Shaw, and Richard Dreyfuss. As the movie that created and defined the movie blockbuster, this horrifying experience will stay with you for the rest of your life. In a small town by the sea, everything is turned upside down when an unstoppable monster kills everyone who goes swimming. Now it's up to a local sheriff, a marine biologist, and an old seafarer to hunt the beast down. This shark, swallow you whole. Shaking, tenderizing, down you go. And we gotta do it quick. Number two. All the President's Men. I think mine's better, but you go ahead and read it. If you think yours is better, we'll give yours to the desk. I've got Colson's name up front. All the President's Men is a 1976 political thriller film directed by Alan J. Pakula and stars Robert Redford and Dustin Hoffman. Finding in its origin in real life is what makes this press thriller even more suspenseful. This brilliant attempt explores the events leading to the discovery of the White House being linked to the Watergate affair. In this dark moment in democratic history, we follow the two master reporters who solve the case, defined by astonishing performances. This won't take long at all. We just want to please go away, okay? I mean, please leave before they see you. Who, who did you mean? What, what do you mean they? Could you give us their names? We haven't revealed the sources of people that have talked to us. You know, I really can't talk about this because they be members of the committee. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. You'll stand guard while I dig. I'll stand guard while you dig. You two trade off the same way. What are our chances? Slim. Okay. Next time you pay. You make three. We take one. Your nights in the park are over for a while, honey. You're under arrest. Why, lady? Come on, lady. Kiss my ass. Come on, lady. Number one. Chinatown. Just take my word for it, all right? I want to know how it happened, and I want to know why, and I want to know before Escobar gets here, because I don't want to lose my license. A woman hires a private investigator, Jake Gitz, to follow her husband, whom she suspects is cheating. However, the case soon turns dark when the detective finds himself caught in a web of lies, conspiracy, deceit, and murder. Director Roman Polanski mesmerizes the audience with his impeccable screenplay and stunning display of mystery. Released in 1974, the thriller mystery stars Jack Nicholson and Faye Dunaway in lead roles and is definitely worth watching, especially if you're a Jack Nicholson fan. How much do you want? 
I just want to know what you're worth. Over 10 million? Oh, my, yes. Why are you doing it? How much better can you eat? What can you buy that you can't already afford? The future, Mr. Gitz. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.